from that fight with Canelo where he's gone in with pound for pound number one and been very competitive at times, mm. how much do you think Billy Joe can still achieve in this sport? I think he only I think he only gets better from that because it wasn't a oh, I took a hiding like he was well in that fight. Maybe Canelo was a round, maybe two rounds up. Um some people had Billy Joe ahead. He asked me the round before, the end of the round seven, how's it going? And I said it's close. Like I thought probably Canelo would round up. Um and then got hit with a shot that even even that shot that broke his eye in three places. He didn't get wobbled and carried on for 90 minutes. Um, Seconds. 90 seconds, sorry, 90 minutes. <laughs> Kill now. Um, I feel like he grew into the fight. He was growing into the fight. Because of that, I think he hadn't, where he hadn't, he took him a few rounds to get back to that level of sharpness. Whereas, if What's good, family? So, mash the like button and subscribe. So, we just heard dear from Ben Shilvidson. M. Ben Shilvidson, MTK Shilvidson, alongside Tyrone, MTK Tyrone. What is it with these? They love wheeling them out, I reckon. In fact, from what I'm hearing, MTK have employed. We already know MTK runs IFO TV. Yeah? We know that for a fact. And apparently, I'm hearing that Ben Davidson, Ben Shilvidson, has a weekly contract. He must go on. He's contracted to go on IFL TV weekly and shill every week until Billy Ho Saunders makes his first appearance on IFL TV. And by the way, that makes, makes me laugh. Where's Billy Ho Saunders at? It's been two months now. Coogs. Coogs ain't got an exclusive interview with Billy Ho. Oh no, you're keeping him locked away, ain't you? Keeping him locked nice away because they don't want no more of the YB. Because you know what's going to happen when you rock on IFL TV. The YB going to be all over it. Yeah, just like Alvarez was all over your booty hole in that night, no doubt. Yeah? Anyway, let's get back to what Shilliverton had to say, because... Listen, Ben. Listen, Tyrone. I don't care how you've been contracted. I don't care how many BMWs and Mercedes-Benz Mr. El Trapahan has bought you. Oh, but no, it's my crypto. Oh, but no, it's this. Yeah, no, it's your, it's your daddy. Yeah? You are a kept woman, Tyrone. El Trapahan treats you like a kept woman. You're a kept lady. Gets you a car. Gets you a nice little, nice little gaff. And you best believe he is hanging at the back of you. Oh no, it's my crypto. Oh no, it's this. Crypto's down 70%. You ain't making no money on crypto. So, so where'd the car come from? Oops. <laughs> Oops. MTK, that's where it come from. How about that? You best believe. Oh no. Uh, oh, crypto, crypto, you know. No, how about MTK Co? MTK Crow, that's what it is. MTK Toe. Nothing, there's nothing crypt about it. It's MTK. No doubt. You think it's a coincidence? Wait there, Tyrone, you've been doing... You've been doing... Wait there, wait there Tyrone. Wait, wait a minute, Tyrone. You've been doing YouTube for years. All of a sudden, you start shilling for MTK. All of a sudden, you got, you got all the shiny bits. Oh, no, nah, but why be it's crypto? Okay, then. Of course it is. That's convenient. Yeah? Tyrone telling you, man, that is what that's what you call for tax purposes. Of course, he's got to, he's got to make up something. Oh no! And what you notice is, yeah, crypto these days is one of the greatest bu buzzwords. When you've got ill-gotten gains, if you want to launder some peas, crypto is the best thing to write on, write on your tax form. Oh yeah, it's not from it's not from the MTK cartel. It's from crypto, because guess what? You can't trade. You. The government can't prove where he did or didn't get it from. I tell you where you come from. El Trapaham cartel. That's where it came from. So Tyrone, the YB's on to you. Yeah, you might you might be able to fool some of your goofy Don friends, some of your goofy shill Don friends, but you ain't fooled the YB not even a little bit. You be, and trust me, you best believe you'd be sweating right now. Anyway, let's get back to Tyrone. Let's get back to Sh Ben Shilvidson because I'm I'm sure that he's happy that oh I'm guarantee you yeah, Ben Shilvidson when he heard me lyricing on when he hear me just lyricing off. When you heard me just boying off Tyrone, MTK Tyrone, yeah. I bet he took a deep sigh of relief. Like, oh, thank God. I thought this video was going to be about me. Yeah, Ben, you're right, it is about you. Got a bit waylaid, exposing MTK Tyrone. But back to you, listen. Listen, Ben. You are delusional. Yeah, I don't care how many times MTK are going to contract you to rock onto IFL TV to put out some more hit piece information. 
Oh, some. What, this is the thing. You man don't get it. Some of you goofies really don't get it. I told you months ago, yeah. These dons are given a script. I said to you, the script. Oh, YB, what do you mean a script? What do you think is a coincidence? What happens? But Billy Ho Saunders rocks on talk sport. What did what did Billy Ho Saunders sound talk sport? Oh, you know, some people had me up two rounds and. Next thing you know, this video comes out last week, yeah? That was four weeks after the Talk Sport interview. What does Ben Davison say? Oh yeah, some people had Billy Ho Saunders up and... Listen, no one had Billy Ho Saunders up. What planet are you on? Get serious now. Get serious. What's wrong with you? Do you think we're stupid? Now don't get me wrong, there are some stupid dons. There are some Ben H Billy Ho Saunders shill dons who are stupid. So yeah, you, I can see where you're going with that. But in the main, do you think we're stupid? Oh, you know, some people have Billy Ho Saunders up. Who then? Since since there was some people who, ha who had it, who? Because I don't know none of them. The way that Alvarez was stunting around the ring. Anyone who thought they had Billy up is delusional. Or they're blind. One of the two. Anyone who thought that fight was going to end any other way after the sixth round, after the third round, you're lying to yourself. Alvarez was hanging out the back of Billy for the last five rounds, at least, hanging out the back of him. I felt guilty. I felt guilty for Billy Hosorna's kids. I felt this. To be honest with you, that fight should have been classed X-rated. That looked like a blue movie to me. Yeah, it looked like some cheesy 1990s retro porno ting. No doubt, because he was hanging all the way out the back of him. Not even a bit, not out the back. All the way out. Yeah? And when, listen, what we do now is, when someone's hanging out the back of another man, how can you, how can you be winning? Think about it for a second. How can you be winning when there's a man, how can you be winning when there's a man hanging out the back of you. Explain, just explain, or explain the logic to me, please. Because you best believe, if you ever see the, if you ever see some next Donny, yeah. If you ever see some next Donny riding the legs off the YB, please don't try and chalk it. Please don't try and chalk it up to a W. Oh, but why? Yeah, you know, I saw YB getting the legs rode off him, but he he's still taking dubs. No. Just everyone, everyone buried a YB. Simple as that. If you see some neck Don riding the legs off YB, off the YB, then you know it's done. It's, it's over. It's over for the YB. He's been buried, no doubt. I'm not going to come on it. I would never expect someone to shill for the YB. Yeah, it's over. But for some reason, these MTK shill dons think that we're all blind. We all watched it. We all saw Alvarez riding Billy all the way home. Yeah, all the way to the corner. Canelo, 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 Canelo Alvarez rode Billy all the way into the corner. He didn't have no more legs left because Alvarez rode them off. Yeah? Billy's back was all the way sore. No doubt. He didn't want no more. About up two rounds? How can you be up two rounds but not, but not what no more? Explain that to me. And I remember another funny thing from Billy. Billy started saying, "Ah, oh, you know, it's not like he, Billy start." In fact, you know what? I'm going to do a separate video on that. But either way, Billy started saying in one of his interviews, in the Talksport interview, he started saying, "Ah, oh, he tried to." He started trying to allude as if there was corruption. Ah, oh, you know, I got I got hit, but. It's not as if it was going to be, it was not as if I was going to get a fair shake. I was in Texas and I was going up against Alvarez, who's the A-side. And if I'd have carried on, I wasn't going to get a fair shake. And I was up three rounds, but you know, I wasn't, it's not as if I was going to get a fair. What? What's wrong with you? About a fair shake. The last thing you need to be, wor you need to be worrying about was a fair shake. What you should have been focused on was that five foot six ginger Donny. All you should have been worrying about is that five foot six red headed Donny mounted mounted on you. Yeah? That's what you should have been worrying about. Instead you're worrying about ah oh, but you know the corruption. There weren't listen, there weren't nothing corrupt. The only for tail lie, the only thing corrupt.
was the way you got did in front of your kids. That's it. That was a bit corrupt, to be fair. That I do, I do feel guilty. I do feel guilty for your, for your, for your kids, Billy, because you got, you got, did, you got did corruptly, no doubt. That was corrupt. No, no kin should have to watch what they had to watch, because you got did wrong. Alvarez did you all the way wrong. Yeah. So listen, listen, Ben, listen, Bill, listen, Ben, you big shill. What's wrong with you? I know you think you're smart now because you get given fighters. I know you think you're smart because these fighters are vulnerable and they get touched. And to be fair, from what I'm hearing, these fighters are basically getting money. Is what I'm hearing. These the reason these fighters team up with Ben is because MTK, they're washing the money and they're handing out big money for nothing. Basically, is what I'm hearing. They're handing out triple triple money for nothing. That's what I'm hearing. It is now. Not so much the touch part, but it's the money. People are getting paid three times for something. Something basically, people are getting something for nothing, and they're told, "Listen, if you work with Ben Davidson, we'll pay you four times what you're normally going to get, because we got we got money to burn anyway." Yeah. So Ben, we know you think you're smart and you think you're snidey, but the truth's going to come out. We all saw what happened. We all saw Tyson Fury left you, even when Tyson Fury was offered four times what he was already making. From the Shilaloa cartel. He still left you. Do you know how bad that is? Do you know how bad you've got to be to be left? When you're getting paid four times what you would what, what you would be normally. Wow. You're bad. Yeah? So you can keep giving out your goofy advice about how oh, he was up. Some people had him up two rounds. and he needed, oh, B Billy was coming on strong at the end. Coming on strong? Like, just think about that for a second. Your fight, you, you allege your fighter is coming on strong, but he jacked in the corner. Oh? He, is it just me or what happened to contradictions? Someone, someone, please let me know what happened to contradictions. In my world, if someone's coming on strong, it is categorically impossible. For them to sit in the corner and jack. Coming on strong is 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 the is the opposite of jacking, isn't it? It's, it's not it's not possible. People don't come on strong and then jack. People wilt and then jack. And guess what? We all watched it. Billy Ho Saunders was wilting. He was falling apart in there. His legs, and he's already admitted it. His legs was gassed. He couldn't run no more. He'd already he'd done enough running. He ain't got no power anyway, so he couldn't fight back. And it was game, set, and match for Billy. Alvarez was about to give him the final stroke. Alvarez was just about to bust, and then you put, and then you, and then you, and then Billy hopped out. Yeah, that's what happened. We were we was all watching it. Alvarez was just about to bust, no doubt. So, you can sit there and lie to you, oh, he was coming on strong, and oh, he needed some more, I swear down, yeah? Later on in, in this interview, Ben Davison starts saying, oh, he was a, he, oh, he, need, he needed some more rounds. <sighs> these guys, there's something wrong with these guys. The level of shillery is just too much. They've got no shame. Not even a little bit of shame do they have. But listen, I'm happy. I enjoy staying on Ben's neck because Ben's goofy. Billy, you're goofy. Billy, you're jacked. Yeah? Billy, you weren't up two rounds. Billy, you lost about eight rounds back to back to back. To, but genuinely, yeah, I give Billy one round. And do you know why I give him one round? Because that's for sympathy. I give every fighter one round, genuinely. Unless, it, unless it's obviously a one round KO or something. If, it's, if a fight goes eight rounds... Just by naturally, I'll give someone one round, just on principle, because I think if you've made it eight rounds and you deserve one, just, you know what I'm saying, one of them ones. Buy seven, get one free, that kind of thing. <laughs> do seven, get one free, that's how I feel. If you do seven rounds, you're going to get one from the YB. That's why Billy got one. It was seven and one. That bitch, do you know how mad it is? Do you know how hard like, out of eight, to, for, the, for, for the fight to have been eight rounds, and for Billy to have been up two... That would be, what's that, let's work out the number, it'd be 5 and 3, wouldn't it, yeah. It'd be 5 and 3, that's how you'd have to have it. 
For Billy to be up two, it'd be five and three. Just think about it for a second. Five and three. Five and three. And Alvarez was stalking him. I don't even remember Billy landing a power punch, truth be known. Do you? Do you, do, do you remember seeing any effectual power punches from Billy? And you want me to believe he won five rounds? Get serious, Ben. You Instagram trainer. And that's the problem, you see. You're too much on Instagram. You don't know what's real. You don't know the real sport of boxing. If you did, you'd know. But there's no way Billy won, won more than one round. 